Welcome back everyone. Console variables and commands are the topic of this video and so our goal is to simply show off some various commands we can input into our game to better visualize things and or check our game's performance. Now firstly, what are console commands? Well, you can think of these as a type of cheat code you can enter into your game, although instead of them providing some sort of buff for your character, they're going to give us deeper insight into what's happening in our level. So how can we find all of the different commands in console variables available to us? Well, if you go into the Google or simply Microsoft Edge, a browser of your choosing, simply do a search for UE4 console variables and command. There are several pages out there that lists them all. And I'm just gonna click on this one right here, UE4 console variables and commands. And what you've got here is a search box where you can whittle down the list of available console variables and commands, because there is a lot of them. Now we're focused on landscape right now. So let's type in the word landscape. And we've got a couple of check boxes here, whether or not we just want to search for console variables or console commands, or all of them together. And this shows us some of the different commands that we can input to gain some deeper insight into what's happening. All right, so let's explore some of these now back in Unreal Engine. And now there's actually a few different ways to access a command line down here. Way number one is to press the tilde key. That is the one located next to the one key on your keyboard. So if you press that, you see that you've got this little area here where you can enter in a console command. If you press that tilde key again, it'll go away. So that's way number one. Way number two is if you come under your window option up here and come under developer tools and in the flyout menu, choose output log you will have access to a command line right down here. Now, it's saying enter in a console command. So let's look back here in our window, our list of variables and uh, commands as to what we can enter in. And let's try this show flag dot landscape. Now, this is going to allow us to show our landscape or hide it depending on what number we append to the end of our command here. Zero means the show flag will be off. One means the show flag will be on. So I'm going to jump back to Unreal and type in show flag. And you can see it's starting to whittle down the options as I am typing this in. Land. And now even with just land in there, I can click on landscape. Now at the very end of this, what I could do is put in a question mark. And then with that question mark, I'm going to put enter. Now, anytime you put in a console command spaced question mark, it's going to give you a list of what things you can put at the end of that uh, console command in place of that question mark, uh, what you can possibly do with it. So in this case, instead of a question mark, if I would have put a zero, the show flag I would have turned off. If I would have had a show flag dot landscape one, I would have had the show flag for our landscape be on. Let's show that. Show flag dot landscape. And I will set this space zero. Now when I hit enter, boom, my landscape is completely gone. However, if I want to bring that back, show flag dot landscape and I do a space number one, one is going to force that show flag to be on when I press enter like that. And now the next thing I wanted to show off here was that in game we can input some console commands as well. So I've moved my player start actor atop my landscape and here I am in here playing. And if I tap the tilde key, that's the one right to the left of the one key, there you can see a command line appear. And if I type in show flag dot landscape and I append a zero to the end of this and now press enter, you will notice that my landscape has completely disappeared. And you may say, ha ha, liar, it has not disappeared because I see a lot of grass out there. 
Remember, that is not actually the landscape. All this grass is coming from our landscape material. So let's get our landscape back. So I'm going to press the tilde key one more time. We'll do show flag.landscape. And this time I will put a one and press enter. And my landscape has since returned. Now, some other really useful console commands to use when you're just testing out your game here. Uh, one of them that you saw me use in some of the previous videos, I'm going to press that tilde key once again. You saw me put in stat FPS. If I press enter, that's going to have a frames per second counter. I'm just pressing shift plus F1 to gain control of my mouse. That's going to show me my frames per second counter up here, and you can see it's humming along nicely at 120. That is a good one. Another good one is if I press the tilde key again and I put in stat scene rendering, that guy right there, I'm pressing the tab key to finish off the typing, and then press enter. This is not one you're going to want to leave up, but a really good one here is your mesh draw calls that you see from your stat scene rendering. It's going to give you an average number here. Now, a draw call is a command to render an object. And as a rule, less is better for performance. Now, you're going to see this change pretty dramatically depending on how you have your viewport oriented. For example, if I take my viewport and I just kind of stare at the ground, there's very few draw calls going on. You can see right there I'm at a solid 218. That's because I'm not looking off very far in the distance. There's not a whole lot to draw onto the screen. However, as I extend my horizon line here, you can see that the number of draw calls jumps up pretty significantly. Now, how many is too many? Well, really, that's going to be up to you to decide depending on how powerful uh, your machinery is, how powerful your target platforms are, etc., etc. But again, less is better for performance. So I'm just going to bring that off. So I'm going to do the tilde key once again, type in the stat scene, whoops, stat scene rendering. And I just you can use your arrow keys to go up and down, then the tab key to, uh, or sorry, the enter key to select stat scene rendering there, and that'll get you off of that. So guys, there are some methods for entering in some console commands. There's plenty more that you can experiment with, and I recommend that you check out this website and give some of these a whirl. All right, guys, that is going to do it all for this video. We will see you in the next one.